What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We got our hot little gadget loving hands on the brand new fifth generation iPod Touch. This is the one that Apple announced with the iPhone 5. It's got all kinds of new stuff in it, including a revolutionary new loop. It also has the new lighting connector and all kinds of other goodness uh, crammed into its four inch screen. Let's go ahead and take a first look. All right, so here is the fifth generation iPod Touch all done up in blue, one of the six colors that are available. So let's run through the specs real quickly. It is available now uh, at either $299 or $399. Uh, it's either gonna be in 32 gig configuration or 64. It is running iOS 6 and a totally new design to match its big brother, the iPhone 5. From a dimension standpoint, we're looking at 4.86 inches by 2.31 inches by a now very thin and svelte 0.24 inches. Uh, and it lost a little bit of weight too, weighing 3.10 ounces. Uh, so we've got the same displays in the iPhone 5. So that's a four inch retina display to the resolution of 1136 by 640. And for those of you math nerds, that's a 326 PPI or an 800 to one contrast ratio. Uh, battery, it's got 40 hours of audio or eight hours of video powered by an A5 dual core chip at 800 megahertz, 512 megs of RAM and a brand new five megapixel camera on the back with LED flash that can shoot 1080p video and a 1.2 megapixel, don't call it a front facing camera, it's a FaceTime HD sensor that can shoot 720p. Uh, no cellular data here, Wi-Fi only. Uh, it does have Bluetooth 4.0, so you can stream to your car or Bluetooth speakers. Uh, these are gonna come with the new ear pods built right in. It's gonna come with the new loop as well and a lightning connector for well, connecting to your computer. All right, so let's do a quick tour of this guy. The screen is gonna be very familiar to anybody that's seen an iPhone 5. It's pretty much the same affair, and the front of it uh, looks just like an iPhone 5. Uh, if we go ahead and head on to the back, that's where you start seeing the difference. Uh, this appears to be a aluminum, or aluminum, I know the, uh, your folks in Europe always like to get on me for my pronunciation uh, back, but it doesn't feel uh, true aluminum. So wouldn't be surprised if it to be some sort of uh, plastic polymer there. Uh, it's going to be available in slate, gray, pink, yellow, blue, or red uh, on board here. So we've got the camera, we've got your uh, Wi-Fi antenna, and right down below is where the magic loop is going to go. Apple has redefined the strap. If you go ahead and push that in, it's going to pop up a little bit. Then you can go ahead and take your loop, which is going to be included in the box, slide it right on there, push it back down, and you can go on your merry way with your fancy new loop. You don't have to worry about losing your phone. We'll go ahead and take that off. Um, so on our tour, the left side of the device has volume rockers up and down, very well pronounced, easily, uh, easy to be found. On the bottom, that's where a lot of the action is gonna take place. 3.5 millimeter headset jack now lives on the bottom, just like the iPhone 5. There's your lightning connector and a speaker port. On the right hand side, We've got nothing, but very pretty blue color. Uh, on the left, or on the top rather, is your power and lock button. Uh, so it's gonna look very familiar to anybody that's ever used uh, any previous generation iPod touches uh, or iPhones. Uh, from the look of it, it does look almost like an iPod touch in a case, like it's in sort of a blue uh, jelly case. Uh, with the Apple logo being the same color as the back of the device, it really gives the appearance that there's something over the back of this, uh, but not the case. So let's do a real quick comparison uh, with the device it's replacing. Here is the fourth generation iPod Touch. You can certainly see the difference there. I have to look at them from a thickness standpoint, and of course a big difference being the backs. Um, one certainly is a shiny material. Uh, the other one is that fake aluminum. Uh, but unfortunately you can't use this as a mirror. I know you like to fix your hair with your iPod Touch, but that is no more. Push that off to the side. And completing the family tree, we've got a iPhone 5. You can see what these two uh, look like side by side as well and from all different angles. Uh, so performance has actually been really good as you'd expect from an A5 processor. Uh, Siri works here as well. You can ask her to do all kinds of uh, new stuff if you want. Uh, so we got some bad piggies, we can build some stuff, you can see how things look. Uh, it looks exactly like you would expect. Uh, you will notice though that this has not been optimized for the iPhone 5 or the new iPod Touch's larger display, so you get uh, that letterboxing effect. So things work pretty well, you can build stuff for the piggies and you can help them get their eggs and make them birds pretty mad. 
Uh, this has been a first look at the new fifth generation iPod Touch. Uh, if you want to see a full unboxing of it, check out our friend John Morrison at TLD Today. Uh, it's going to be down below in a video response if you want to see this guy uh, come right out of its box. So what do you guys think about the brand new iPod Touch? Is it worthy to play bad piggies and plants versus zombies on and something that you want to pick up? Uh, you want to watch all your movies on? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you want to see more beautiful high resolution shots of the new iPod Touch, hit the link down below to go to technobuffalo.com and check out our full gallery. I'm John Rettinger. See you next video.